And we can go back to Lunar Magic. And we'll go back to these mushroom buttons that we were at before. We'll, we'll first want to click on the green mushroom, quick insert GFX to ROM. And then the yellow mushroom, quick, in, quick insert EX GFX to ROM. Um, I've been clicking all, I've been dealing with all these mushrooms, even though we're, we were only making EX GFX files, um, just because it's safer. Uh, some people have issues when they deal with only one set and not the other, and the graphics don't get inserted correctly. So it's, it's always just safe to insert, uh, to extract, and then insert back the, fi the files of both types. So that's what I'll do here. Uh, I'm going to insert the green first. Now, you may see this. Um, this has been happening to me. Uh, originally, I was worried. It says the EXGFX and the ROM are still stored in 3BPP format. Um, you know, do you want to continue? Instead, you may see problems. Um, I got some help on this. The person who helped me said, don't worry about this. Just proceed anyway. And the, the message won't pop up again. Everything should be fine. Um, and it has been. Every time I've been testing out this tutorial, I, I haven't had issues with the custom graphics working in the ROM afterwards. But that doesn't mean that it won't cause a problem for someone else. Uh, so yeah, don't quote me on it, you know, not being an issue ever. Uh, I don't know what situation it could be problematic for, but at least for my situation, it has no issue. Uh, so I'll just click yes and it should work. If you find this message, click yes and see what happens. If you have an issue after that, um, try and find a way to work around it, I guess. So I'll click yes, and you would have found a set of similar meshes if you click the yellow mushroom first, but I'll click that now, and he's ready to go. Um, yeah, the safe order is red and blue in the beginning, and then green, then yellow at the end. That's what I did here. Now, the graphics that we just made are not automatically readily available. We will have to go to this button here, the red poisonous mushroom, to insert them officially. Now, the graphics in Super Mario World use four slots at one time uh, in each level. Um, it, you know, we won't be using this, but this just shows you what I mean. Um, this just has a list of the various um, already set um, groups of four that are used in the game. Uh, the first two slots are pretty common, are used by everything. They contain things like Koopas and mushrooms and fire flowers, etc., that can be used anywhere. And then it gets to the more specific slots that can house more specific sprites and tile sets that are found in only certain levels. Um, instead of loading a an entire set of four, we're going to modify one of them and tell it tell one of the slots to insert our custom graphics. So click on that red poisonous mushroom. A super graphics bypass is what it's called. Click the checkbox. And since we're dealing with sprites, we'll come down here to the sprite area, list of GFX files to load for sprites. And here are the four slots. Um, don't just click any random one and insert in that slot. Uh, a way to check what slot to insert into is to go to the whoops, I'll exit out of that. Is to go to the eight by eight tile editor. Um, this divides up if you use your arrow keys up and down. This divides up those slots in in a visual way. Uh, if you divide up this entire region of stuff in half, the top half is slot one. This is these are the background uh, tile sets or some of the background stuff. If you the top half here is slot one, bottom half is slot two, then on the next page slot three, and then slot four is on the bottom. These are the sl uh, the sprite ones, and similarly it, it works the same way. Uh, slot one 
is the top half here. Slot two is at the bottom, slot three, and then slot four. Our Koopas are in slot two, as you can see. So that's what we'll insert our custom graphics into. If we insert it somewhere else, you will most likely find some issues. You'll find some weird things happening with some other objects or sprites in the ROM. And it'd be hard to fix. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you're doing it correctly. But let's go to SP2, slot 2. And this is why I said start at 80 or above. Uh, all the numbers down here, hexadecimally, are being used by something else, or they tell you not to use them, all the way up to 7F, which is a skip file, and then 80 and above are completely open and available for use. Um, here is our save file from before, or our custom EXGFX that we made. Let's click on that, and hit OK, and it should be inserted correctly. Uh, let's click the save icon to quick save to the ROM, and let's see if our sprites are available. Hmm. Indeed, they are. They look pretty nice. The Koopas are right here, except for the, the big one, but of course he looks differently. He looks different. But our Koopas look like the white dog that we made. Uh, let's insert some into the ROM, into the level. Looks pretty good to me. It's pretty exciting. No problems. All right, so we'll do that. We'll save. We'll save again. And now comes the all important part, of course, testing it out to see if it all works. So let's go back. I'll just reload. Now let's do this one. Right, here we go. The moment of truth. There we go. Seems like they're walking pretty well. That's pretty cool. As you can now, oh yeah, see that when they're squished, they're they look like a flattened Koopa. If you wanna, you would just have to change that yourself into something different. You'll have to find that sprite and customize it differently as well to make it fully, you know, to make it work, look all smooth. But of course I didn't do that here. There we go. That's pretty cool. So that's how you create your own custom EXGFX uh, using YYCHR and putting and inserting them into your ROM. I uh, hope you learned something. hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later.